My university's police department demanded we either censor our free speech wall or face criminal charges. My name is Morgan Freeman, not to be confused with the actor. I'm from Sam Houston State University and I was studying philosophy. Sam Houston State wanted to, because they have like the trademark Bearcat, Sam Houston State, SHSU, they wanted direct control over any group that used any of those names. And they wanted to be able to go into any social media, so Twitter, Facebook, anything like that, and be able to directly edit content. And no one, no one liked this at all. <laughs> we were just trying to bring awareness to the free speech issue in protest. Our free speech wall was a huge structure. It was about 24 feet long and we covered it in paper. We ended up filling up the first half. So and it was basically a wall that we decided you could write whatever you wanted on it. Like all the student groups that were involved, we said, okay, we're just making sure this is clear. It's free speech. You can write absolutely whatever you want on this wall. We had never seen anything like this on campus before. I think the last um, demonstration of free speech had been done like 30 years prior. So we had every, every aspect of the political spectrum all participating, all coming together on this really important issue. My group, uh, Lovers of Liberty, um, basically a libertarian group. We had college Republicans, Bearcat Democrats, and the Young Democratic Socialists. Normal came out, and they, uh, they, they drew like um, pro-cannabis statements all over the wall. We had someone wrote the uh, president of the university's salary on the wall. Um, we had a lot of um, liberty sort of inspired quotes. We had some girl talk about how her boyfriend cheated on her. I mean, it was everything. It was a really cool experience. I think one of my favorite ones was uh, someone wrote, this is the best thing I've ever seen at this raggedy school. <laughs> <laughs> and then so everything was going great. And then someone had, we had actually expanded to the back of the wall. So, because we had covered the whole front. And on the back, someone had wrote in big purple ink, F Obama, right? And so, I mean, there were F, F this, F that all over the wall, right? So it wasn't just that. And... A professor came by and he saw it and I, someone pointed me out as the organizer of the event and he came up to me and he was like, young lady, you need to take, you need to take this down, this is offensive. I basically told him, we've gotten permission to do this, we're not taking it down, it's a free speech wall, we're letting students write whatever they want to. So he's like, fine, I'll take care of it myself. So he went back to his office, came back downstairs with a box cutter. And the professor literally came out with his box cutter and cut the part of the wall that he didn't like out and threw it in the trash can. <laughs> we never really thought that there would be an actual physical um, retaliation against the wall, especially from a professor. So there's a little bit of outcry from some of the students standing around. They're like, what are you doing? You can't, you can't do this. And so we're just trying to like, keep the situation under control. But basically I was like, it's okay, we're gonna cover it back up. And someone went on there and wrote, still F Obama. <laughs> <laughs> when the police officer showed up, we thought, you know, he was going to help us out. Our free speech wall had just been attacked. We had gone through the proper channels. Um, this was our property. We had spent money on building this wall. And so, you know, he interviewed us. Then they went up and, and talked to the professor and then came back. And um, he actually told us we had one of three options. We could either take down the wall, cover up all the F words on the wall, or we could um, put up new paper and censor what people wrote. And I was like, okay, so just so I'm clear, it's free speech is legal until it offends someone? And he's like, yes. <laughs> so we decided we didn't want to make a mockery of free speech and censor our wall, so we decided to go ahead and take it down. And they, they, if we didn't comply with one of their options, we were actually um, threatened with a misdemeanor. The administration um, not trusting us to use our voices and to exercise our freedom of speech really is insulting. Um, we're, we're adults, we're not children. You know, we've come to a university to discuss and you know, engage in intellectual discourse and they want to silence that. Having the ability to criticize political leaders, the president, whoever it might be, is, it's a fundamental of a free society. You know, if you can't criticize your leaders, there's, you're not free, you're not even close to free. Fire literally came to our rescue like a couple hours later. There's a message in my inbox from them and they're like, you know, tell us what's going on, we want to help you out. Um, they really played a really instrumental role in getting the social media policy reversed and I'm um, calling the university out on their bad policies. Because I never believed when we set this wall up, I didn't think we'd have any problems, you know, First Amendment. <laughs> the advice I would offer students would be don't be afraid to go up against the administration to fight for what your rights are. I mean, the purpose of a university is to learn and to engage in ideas. And if your university is violating that purpose, then I would say don't be afraid. Go after them. Um, you have allies out there.